Oh, hi there. Name's Buck Daisy Lifter. Nice to meet you. I was just taking my previously smallest tripod outside to cry myself to sleep until I realized I had a tinier one. Oh, wow. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. The reason the audio sounds so good today, I actually have a microphone hidden just out of shot. It's on a boom pole going up this way, right over top, pointed right down at my mouth. I used to, I bought this with my own money. This was my favorite tripod. Back in the day, I did a bunch of research, the KNF TM 2324. Fantastic, it's lightweight. You couldn't, it's solid. The other one I had was just one my girlfriend found on someone's lawn. It served me well. I traveled to Thailand with that. It was so janky looking. But this one's all smooth and... So I've been happy with it. What more could you want? Until KNF comes out with that tiny little cute boy here. Carbon fiber weighs less than my mom's shoe, left shoe. A thousand grams. This one's 1236, unusable. broke my neighbor's window. So KNF Concept sent me this to review. It's the BA-225. It's only 115, don't quote me on that because I checked a bunch of different sites. The price is always different. A thousand grams, it can hold eight kilograms. Can it really hold this? We'll find out. I can't imagine you would have a bigger setup. Its main selling point is how tiny it collapses to and how light it is. We're gonna see, is it too light for its own good? It could be, but this one, I used to go out, put this in my backpack, but like the top piece would be sticking out. Now I could actually do that with dignity. Just throw that in a knapsack and then you set up. So let's set it up. Pretty easy, you just flip forward, push these in to lock, and it has three different positions, I think. Don't quote me on that. Oh boy, I did my research. Trust me, I've had this a long time been using it for years. So there, that's solid. This is fully extended up there. These, you can turn them all at once. Wow. Then I have to tighten them individually. You didn't think that one through, did you? Can I? Okay, so that's how tall it goes. I'm about five, seven-ish. I'm guessing, why couldn't I just measure it? Why do I have to guess? It's about 54 inches tall. Why didn't I measure it when it was tiny too? Oh man. So 54 inches fully extended and that much when it's fully collapsed. So initial impressions, those tiny bottom legs, we got some give. There's a bit of give on it, but I don't mind the play. I don't mind the play. That is light. The bottom pieces, they're kind of harder plastic. It's not the perfect rubber I wish they were. Those are my only two downsides. We got a pretty smooth pan tilter. Not bad. And just a little ball head up there. Nice and easy. So let's see what happens when we put this thing on. Will that fit with this other head? Yeah. Good. Is it in? It works. There's a little bounce to it. Press the shutter and then wait for that to stop. That's good. That's a nice tripod. The legs are definitely like bowing out now with the weight of this thing. I do worry a bit that it's gonna shatter on impact. But I'm just like, I'm testing it hard here. Would I ever do this? This is not its designed purpose. <laughs> it's meant to be super light. If you put a more reasonable Sony a7S 3 on there with a Zeiss 55 mil Tony 1.8. Now you're good. Now you're good. That's probably perfect for just going and filming yourself if you're short. Okay, we got the Zeiss rolling. What if you press record? Is there any wobble? 
No, there's no wobble. Ow! Ow! Oh, wow. I should have worn a loud mic. Can't if you've done it again. I switched to the lav mic, so I didn't have a microphone in the shot. I'm impressed. It's so light and tiny, that's what's so exciting. And it's like almost full height for midgets, at least, to film themselves on the beach. I do, I'm weary. It's like tiny, those legs. They bend, it's not very stable footing. But as long as you're not like on a slippery rock cliff, you should be all right. You might be. And it has a monopod feature. Oh my God, you're not even gonna believe this. I was just about to take the head off. Oh, I can't replicate it. What? Now we're talking, oh God. We're at like 59 and a half inches now. I suck at my job. That's handy, almost. Oh, that's a crutch puncher. You're vlogging with a 50 mil, 55 mil. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, we're doing it. Yeah, yeah, that just happened. Don't travel outside your microphone. I switched to the lab though, so there's no need to worry about that. It's heavy. But for monopod mode, you just take the head off and you unscrew this one, I believe. It's a two pot. And you easy does it your way right in there. Now you could actually vlog out right in the crotch, right in the crotch. Mm. That piece is just so thin. I feel like that would break. That would break hard. But there you go. It's doable. Those are the results you get, 55 mil vlogging. You might want a 35. Maybe an 85. The monopods for a midget's daughter. It's about, it's a good height. I appreciate that kind of height. Honestly, I love that grip. Love that foam grip. Can you do better than this for the lightness? If you're serious about photography, oh, I don't like camera shake. Get yourself a thousand dollar tripod. I love this. I love it. To extend it out further, you just pull this and just pull that. That feels like it's gonna break. It really does. In my opinion, if you buy this through my affiliate links in the sale we have going on down below, I would maybe don't extend that tiny one. Just keep it within that. That feels much better. It can go even lower. Can you even see that? It's almost like fully flat. That's fantastic. So versatile. Honestly though, I love KNF gear. It's just, it's cheaper than most but still good. Did that scratch already? That scratched pretty hard. It's cheap, but it'll look nice. I love the look of it, the orange and black and gray. Cool. If I was to make any changes, it would just be more rubberized tips and maybe that tiny bottom leg be less thin, make it feel like it's not gonna shatter on the first shutter. And I think I prefer the latch system than the turn turn. <laughs> it's faster. So you have your work to do, KNF. So thanks for watching. I think it's as tiny as that Peak Design one that's like $900. It's just as good. It's a little flimsy, but you'll work around it. So thanks for watching and buying this stuff through my affiliate links subscribing to the Panasonic Pony of Hope shirt.